Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, today in the arena. It's, we're trying to break a cycle here, because right now the mana is good enough that you can play three colors pretty easily. Once you play three colors, you can play a lot of good mythics in those colors, a lot of which are planeswalkers, and then you can also play some cheap cards that are like, you know, two or three mana that are good in those colors, that are often creatures, and voila, you have a mid-range deck, a three color mid-range deck. It seems like that's what New Capenna was straight up designed to do, is lead you right smack into a three color mid-range deck. But where's control? Hmm? Where's control? How does how does one uh, play just classic shut you down, take over the game control in a meta like this? Now I've promised a few times during the intros to my mid-range decks that real control would come back soon. And today we're playing our first stab, I guess, at like full-on classic control with this blue-black control deck. Now, there are some issues with it. <laughs> For one thing, I can't get into cards like Negate right now. Um, like, saw it coming, Negate, like the classic like three mana counter target spell or two mana counter this type of spell. I just can't seem to make them work. Um, I get punished no matter which one I choose and when I run it, and maybe it's bad luck. Uh, this kind of deck definitely seems like it could run it, but I found myself much more successful when I chopped it away completely and instead just focused on removing things on the board. And you see that we have kind of a little little menu of wing cons over here in blue black control let me set those up for you so i've got four creatures all of which are kind of okay the ward creatures imrith desert doom and carry swirling sky the ward dragons are actually really effective in this meta because there's not a lot of like good like the sweeper most people are playing is meat hook massacre or, you know, you see some people with Shadow's Verdict, and uh, Burn Down the House is one that does hit Imrith, but for the most part, like, they have a really hard time killing these two. The Ward 4 and the Ward 3 just makes them really hard to remove, and then the opponent struggles to attack their underdog through it, so um, both the dragons are pretty good right now. And then there's these other two win cons that are very win con -y that we've seen before, Leer Disciple of the Drowned and Hullbreaker Horror. I've just got one of each to have a nice little menu to choose from, of which giant blue creature is going to take over the game and then what i have that's from the new set is i have cards like tainted indulgence this is a very sweet new card the blue and the black draw two then discard a card unless there are five or more mana values among cards in your graveyard just a sweet cheap kind of our type of expressive iteration a little glue card to help put the deck together and when you draw these too early you can discard them into the graveyard and then probably the most important addition from new capenna for this deck is graveyard shift it's not a very it, it's an unassuming looking uncommon sorcery and it's five mana and it has this line of text that you start to ignore as soon as you read it because it doesn't have too much impact on cards like Avon Heart Stabber. But it says this card has flash as long as there are five or more mana values among cards in your graveyard. And that says return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. So the the rub of this is it's a soft touch reanimator deck and we need to get five different types in our graveyard to give this flash so that we can at instant speed on like the end of the opponent's turn or during combat use it to get back a card like hullbreaker horror or one of the dragons and, or the leer and then untap and have all these resources at our disposal think through it for a minute the opponent attacks and you graveyard shift back an imrith which they can't pay the ward for so you just made this five five you block their you know four power or less thing eat it untap attack draw cards sweet um you get back leer you untap and all those cards in your graveyard are now castable and you have all your mana to do it that's a pretty huge swing because most of the time as soon as you play leer the opponent's trying to kill it they don't expect it at instant speed and then uh how about kiri well with kiri we set up a loop right whenever they kill the Kiri. If they don't exile it, we mill six cards. Then we return one other instant and the graveyard shift to our hand. And we just keep playing the dragon over and over. We did a blue-white deck that did that with Invoke Justice not that long ago. And then with Holebreaker Horror, of course, you get back a Holebreaker Horror for five mana. They're just... You know what happens. Bad things happen. Shadows of Verdict hits all of the opponent's stuff, but none of our stuff because none of it costs three or less. Memory Deluge is a card that you can discard to like Tainted Indulgence if you're under attack and still get some graveyard value. Soul Shatter. Um, Ray of Enfeeblement. Just 
kills Rafine. Um, that alone would get it places. Kills Adeline, kills Monoite. It makes it worth it. So we're still running four rays of enfeeblement. If they're terrible in the matchup you happen to be in, discard it. Tainted indulgence. You'll see tainted indulgence. Tainted indulgence. Um, but you'll see it in action in this video. It's never really that dead. I even brought back a few fading hopes to play with Lear and Holebreaker Horror and March of Wretched Sorrows. Fantastic, both at staying alive, hitting planeswalkers, and playing <clears throat> with Holebreaker Horror. So. Uh, I think it's a pretty good list for blue-black control. The thing that I constantly keep trying to do is squeeze, like, two negates in there. So, if you have some cards you want to... <clears throat> Seriously? If you have some cards that you want to cut for two negates, they're actually a low, um, a low risk add because you can discard them to the indulgence. Anyway, I think it's a good control build for a meta that's pretty hostile to control builds. Let's dive in. Let the Demir nonsense begin. Hello, this is Jin Gataxius. Seriously, it's actually me. CGB's channel is mine and I'm holding you all hostage until you feed my hunger for subscriptions. So subscribe, subscribe you pleb, subscribe to the channel. And when my hunger has been quenched, I will call upon the powers of the Prismatic Bridge. And together, we will make CGB play 130 cards on this channel. Totally serious, this is not working. Subscribe, your goal is 169,420. 169,420. <laughs> nice. Subscribe. Get bodied? I'd rather not. Unless it's Elspeth making the offer. Let's go. Alright. This should be ha able to handle a lot of early rushdowns. Yada. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Patience. Don't know if this Jawari is gonna do the job or not, but you give it a chance. They're on the play. Maybe they don't have the land to go with their beloved. Beloved Righteous Valkyrie. Youthful Valkyrie. Send it back. Send it back. Need an untapped land. Or more removal. Mono white angels, huh? Let's see what they've got. Patience, patience. Soul Shatter, what you got? Which one do you want to keep? Which one do you want to lose? Maybe they have another Giada. Alright. Nope, they like their Giada way too much. All right, we're gonna, gonna try to reanimate this carry. But this Juari still might get us out of a tough bind this turn if the opponent taps out for something, like an Elspeth. Nope. They're playing so very careful. Hmm. 
<laughs> but we can't buy an untapped land. It's getting it's getting ugly. All right. <laughs> I guess I'm reanimating a hole breaker horror and I need a cheap card to play with it, but we have a lot of cheap cards. It's a good card. So we need a fading hope. Pretty badly. Or, you know, any cheap card, but Fading Hope would be ideal. Ray is also fantastic. All right. Instant Speed Graveyard Shift Holebreaker Horror is an option. Fortunately, it doesn't block anything. Alright, Angels now tap to kill things that are of power smaller than theirs. Why don't you just activate that cave? Go for lethal that way. Overseer, you got it. Five, four. Easy. Alright, I think it's actually you. You can uh, block and trade with the 6-6 six, six Angel and bounce everything else on the board? Not quite. But you can bounce to other Angels. But I don't know, man. Hullbreaker Horror is so good. I just have this bad feeling about Vanishing Verse, and they can't Vanishing Verse this. I mean, how am I going to beat Double Strike if this doesn't work? I'm not going to is the answer. Boon of Safety. Okay. Uh, that is not going to get you completely out of this. Because we can just bounce this. They scry to the top. They feel good about it. Down to four. Six or less. So you can't be replayed this turn. I think it's like this. Oh, you can be replayed. Okay. Well, so can this. And we already took the damage, so it's one or the other. If they play this again, they get a life, but it's significantly smaller this time. I mean, these I'm sure about. All right, we'll just go like that. Double strike next turn. Graveyard shift. Do I do this now is the question, right? The opponent did double spell, so I'm going to trigger Celestis. So I get another look, and I really want something to go with the Holebreaker Horror. So I don't think we cast this. Beautiful. Yes. Come on, baby. We've got what we need. We can do this. 22 life.
Okay, we hit another black card. Oh, we got Ray. Okay. All right, this is still four damage in the air, but we could just let it be. We could just let it be. Oh no, the opponent's gonna gain life from this. Okay, we can't let it be. Okay, he got his back. Love my hand, don't need to, don't need to loot here. All right, Hullbreaker Horror, you're gonna carry me right out of this. Dude, <laughs> Flash Hullbreaker Horror for five. Makes a difference, doesn't it? All right, here we go. Okay, <laughs> nice. Ray Grasp. Love to see it. Just spell flinging on these angels. Hand over your angel juices. It's literally the plot of the streets of New Capenna. You can laugh at me all you want. I do it for your entertainment. <laughs> I mean, just keep casting them. Why not? Do we have a blocker now? Nope. Nine to nine. We've caught up. Editor will definitely remove that. They can't hear me cough. Youthful Valkyrie. Legion Angel. Game three life. Take that. Go to five. Okay. This is fine. Out of there. How much more can they take? That's the question now. Liza. Okay. Well. Get him. What a sport. I can't... I couldn't sit through a beating from Holbrick or Horror like that and say good game. Better sport than I. Alright, on the play. I wonder if we lead with this Juari or not. 
I think we do this. Might be a clunky start, but we have decisions to make around Jawari and Mauling that might be difficult. Paladin class makes it easy. Makes it a lot easier. Let's get our tap lands out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> and then their whole plan unraveled. I think we're just looking for land here. And we only got one. March is really good, though. Graveyard shift we don't need yet. Alright, take the elite spellbinder ride. Tainted Indulgence? Weird. Alright, just try to kill everything, keep everything in front of us. Eventually we can draw some cards, given time. See what they pick. Okay. Costs a little extra to do it on their turn, but who knows? We might need to use some of this. They still have six cards in hand. This game is far from over. We need to refill on cards. We need to keep the life total high. And need to find some heavy hitters to take over the game. Like, they'll be in big trouble if we drop a dragon. Okay. Okay. There's a dragon. Yeah, Brutal Cathar won't solve this when they're stuck on land. And we've got a graveyard shift to br use with it if it should die. <laughs> Ward. <laughs> Ward. Ha ha ha, Ward. Okay. That doesn't work? Ah, I'm a mana short. Okay. I think I want to attack them and race. Let's make sure Adeline dies. Powering up the hall can put it, be a ton of pressure as well. Imagine being a deck that misses land drops and having to play against Carrie. The swirling sky. The ward of wards. Here come some creatures. It's Luminar Gaspirant. That's big. That probably gets Brutal Cathard, though. I think it's just this simple. Kill their best thing, gain the life, next turn attack, power of Paul attack with that too. Next thing you know they're chump blocking just to be alive. And all those cards in their hand don't matter that much.
Five damage. Another march? Why not? I mean, we could force a chump here. Wait, can we kill them? No. No, we cannot. Good luck racing all these marches. When you let me have mana... ...and any kind of a threat, you're going down. Death by Swirling Sky. Ah! Creepy Jet Mirror Avatar. Two Celestis, we gotta draw a land. We do have March to try to get us there. One's coming out with the eye twitch. Shadow's Verdict, baby. Well, this game is gonna come down to drawing this land, though. We've got 27 of them. Where's the 26? Do me right, deck. Don't do me wrong. Don't do me wrong. Don't leave me without my Celestis. That's really good. I guess I can wait and see what I draw here. Oh, it might be something I want to play, though. This is where I wish I was March of Otherworldly Light, and I'm not. Oh, should have gone for three. Could have gained an extra life. Again, March of Otherworldly Light's what's in my mind. Well, that was dumb. Yay for getting mana screwed. I guess I got this turn to draw two lands in a row. Nope. Okay. Cool. Cool game. The opponent missed two. Although they discarded a land, so I'm assuming that there was something about it that was intentional. Both graveyard shifts before a third land. Cool. Good stuff, deck. I'm not killing these because I assume the opponent wants them dead. Okay. Nice. Still no land. At this point, it's an experiment. There's two lands in 15 cards. 26 land in the deck. Our opponent drops a Junji on us. I have a feeling that's not going to end well for us. Just doesn't matter, man. It just doesn't matter. Oh, look. We found one. I almost discarded it out of spite. Had to be a tap land, too. Hell, had to be a spell. Um, opponent? You missed lethal. <laughs> Alright, how much life do we actually need to gain? Because we're going to zero and then another two, so we need to gain at least five. And then there's the Maestro's Charm. Um, so, let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six... Still hoping to verdict these eye twitches. If the opponent's hand is just really, really terrible, we have a chance. If they kill their own Junji in response, we lose. Okay. 
They're nosing the graveyard, where I haven't even put one of my creatures. They get a Jingataxius. Of course they do. Good stuff. And they slam Olivia. Well, they missed lethal on a guy with no lands. And then they slow roll that nonsense. Now, congratulations. You won. Miosian of what? The Miosian are of this and are of that, right? That's what I remember. Anyway, just play some white creatures. Let me kill them. Or not. Or not. Verdict can be good against High Twitch, though. We'll see how many deadly disputes they have. Warlock class? Warlock class. That's not good. You notice that Juari hits nothing nowadays in the meta? Like, absolutely zip. Literal can't hit a thing with a Juari disruption to save your life. Hmm, dig up deck. I'm definitely not going to be out here trying to kill the eye twitches. Maybe we play a Jawari and the opponent thinks we're low on land and walks into a Jawari, huh? Never. Never happen. So what did they take if they're not going to keep a dig up? Ah, yes, of course. Deadly Dispute. They are playing into it. Let's let them make their learn decision, then hit it with a counter spell. How much damage are we going to take from this thing? Probably as much as it takes. I'm sure there's something else I'd rather hit with Ray somewhere. I just don't know what it is yet. Poet's Quill? Alright, well if they try to equip that, I might kill it. <laughs> what if we just Verdict here? Nah. There will be more creatures somewhere. They're not fooling me. Alright, field of ruin my hall. Heater. Gala greeters. Okay. Maybe I verdicted this. But I've got two rays that handle two creatures. How's that a bad idea? Plus, if we top deck a land... Wait till after they pick. If I top deck a land, I get to slam Kiri here. Interesting. Introduction to Annihilation. What would possess somebody to play that card? Do I put out a Leer just so that they can kill it? Nah. We'll wait for their next card. They have a Poet's Quill. They definitely have some more creatures. Oh, level. To the moon. So, at the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses life equal to the life they lost this turn. 
Spooky. Hmm. Well, that was nice. <laughs> triggers, triggers. Now I'm feeling like the verdict is unnecessary. Let's go, buddy. They might ex... Uh, they'll need another land to exile you. The ward is very powerful. Kill it, I dare ya. I'd love to fill my graveyard. When it draws? The big turn, they do need to kill it. They don't need to kill it right this minute, though. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature died. Oh! That is also an exile effect. That's mean. Classic dragon issues. Yeah, play exile removal in your deck with warlock class. <laughs> it works, I promise. We're gonna need the Holebreaker Horror for sure. We gotta dig through our deck and find it. Will. Dude, so many lessons. Two introduction to annihilation. Opponent, all the exile removal in their warlock class deck. <laughs> Although maybe they never actually expected to ultimate it. Deadly dispute. Make a treasure. Get deeper into the deck. Still no creature. Let's go for tainted indulgence. There it is. Now? Or later? Let's not mess around. Graveyard shift. Actually, we let that die, right? Okay. So we have a graveyard shift in the graveyard that can get back a year. I think we just say go. Soul Shatter. I don't want to have to use the shift on Leer. Besides, the opponent's not apparently playing creatures or planeswalkers. They're just mono introduction to annihilation. Again. What you got? <laughs> Just all removal, I guess. Another exile effect. Bounce it. I don't want it exiled. I need them to kill it in response. There we go. So that Leer can, uh, with one more land, get it back. Ah. 
All right. <laughs> what a game. What a game. If they have one more land, they can intro to Annihilation this as well. You out of stuff yet? You out of stuff yet? Yes! Yes! All right. We got you. Maybe. The deluge makes me think we've got you. Kaka! We got you. They're going on a tutor. Let's see what they can find. <laughs> One of the weirdest green black decks I have ever seen. Like, how are you triggering your Gallagreeters ever? Oh, I know. Oh, I know. You have skeleton swarming. Of course you're a skeleton swarming deck. Trap decks lead to trap cards lead to trap decks. Okay, we got a poet's quill, I guess. For an intro, sure. And try to blow up their field of ruin, see if they want to sacrifice this treasure to throw it away. I think my ma their mana is more important than mine. We only had one island left in the deck. We hold the deluge. All right, make them beat mem two memory deluges, or what? They have blood on the snow, right? So if they cast it, they only have three mana left. So we just have to make sure that we're very patient. I will have your treasure. Lethal threat. There's blood. Blood goes to hand. Nothing I can cast this turn, so I guess I'll just take these. Scoop it up. They couldn't find another way to remove the horror. Oh my gosh, that was a weird game. Usan. All right. Looks like it can deal with a lot of things. And buy time until we can deal with more things. Freaking Jetmere avatars, though. Always got these weird Naya decks. Like, Naya is clearly a lifestyle. I think I'm going to need to hit every land drop, then cast Shadow's Verdict, so I'm going to play Jwari on one. We have three five drops here. Okay. Maybe this is a weirder game than I even expected. Cinderclasm Dual Strike. Dual Strike. Is this red green land destruction? Maybe. Reclaim the wastes. I mean, they like land. I think the Ray can definitely go. We'll see if I regret that later, but... I am deeply concerned about, like, waking the trolls. Igneous Inspiration. Is this also a Bombardment deck? I've seen a good number of them. And my deck is not well equipped to handle it. We don't run enchantment removal of any notable kind. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. They straight up slam it. We lose. We definitely lose. We have no chance. We have no chance whatsoever. The Fading Hope might be useful. The opponent might power up a creature land. Alright, how are we going to get that onto the field? Yeah, nice, nice haul of the Storm Giants. How many... Yeah, we don't need to play anymore. That was... The stuff you end up against sometimes, you know? I, I think... Just give me mono white. <laughs> okay. Black mana kills... White creatures. Let's go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh... But will there be creatures? Blue white. Weird. Am, am I getting another matchup where my removal is dead? May I draw some card draw then? Depopulate. Okay. Looks like a control battle, but they don't have any counter spells. Maybe they have just as much removal in hand as I do. They hit land number four. Dude. The memes I have to play against these days. Getting rid of verdict. Or at least Ray can hit the cave. Yeah, okay. Yeah, of course. Why not? Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they have double Cosmos Elixir against my Demir deck? Alright, they're gonna have infinite cards. My strategy should be to make them figure out how to kill me. Try to deck them? Okay, they don't... They don't run 60, but they don't run 130. <laughs> we could have just Shadows Verdicted the Nico, but... Didn't have to give up a card. Whenever you attack with one or more creatures, create... Okay. And what's the rest of this card? Nothing? That's it? What the... What are they doing? Is this going to be the next Jenga Taxis meme? Okay, we've got a Leer. Nothing in our graveyard worth having. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. I guess Shadow would have eventually hit that. Alright, we got the Horror, which is probably our best hope. Probably our very, very best hope. We're starting to draw cards that don't completely suck. Oh, man. That's one way to do it. Okay. Okay. Uh, they're not going to do that again. They're going to try to attack with this.
They probably run sweepers. So we don't want to expose to sorcery speed. Just see if they'll do that again. This is fine. They can have two creatures. I, I rabble rousing as win con. Cosmos Elixir, draw my deck. The nonsense I have to deal with these days. What you gonna do? I got instance. <laughs> Let's get all our mana untapped before we make a move. Guess they probably have like Wandering Emperor here. You know what? I don't know what they have. They probably have nothing I'm expecting. Yeah, draw your draw your library. I I will not stop you. Mm-hmm. Shall we continue? By invitation only. By invitation only. How are we going to do this? If we bounce this, we get to attack the opponent. Is that even... Is that even the way? I think we bounce the whole Breaker Horror. Then we can replay it on end step, but not with protection. Uh, take action. Oh God. So this is what I come back to. My camera's not working, as you can clearly see. Um, my opponent, Killed my Holebreaker Horror, as you can see. And now the rope is abusing the hell out of me. And I guess I go kill the Nico. I'll try to fix it as I go. But yeah, complete power outage in the house. Lost internet. Lost everything. There we go. Um... Shoot. Why isn't the camera working, though? Heh. <laughs> uh, yeah, no memory card? Nope. Ah! Yeah, uh, let me fix the door. Oh my god. Well, hard mode. The hardest of modes, when the when the world itself turns against you. Does this do anything? Two wandering... There's a wandering emperor, there's a rabble rousing. Okay. Okay, um, we do have ways to get our Holebreaker Horror back from Graveyard, but one of them is down there, and the other is somewhere in the deck. Um, foretell. Just, I, I mean, we're just kind of letting them draw everything here. March. Cycle. 32 cards to 36 cards, but they're drawing at least three a turn. They'll probably still run out before we do. If I play the Swirling Sky, what are they going to do? Are they going to counter it? Do they have counters? Let's find out. 
Gotta try. This can get back a reanimation jutsu from the graveyard if they kill it. So we just have to keep it from being exiled. Run away. You'll be safer. See you later. Let your blade do the talking. I think I'm... No, I really don't want this Juari. They're going to play around it infinitely. It's not going to do me any good. There's the rousing again. What do you know? This is their win con, apparently, that they've decided on of all the cards that they could play in Magic. Is this... If you control ten or more creatures, you get a hideaway. Sure. They played right into a Juari. That's what I get. That's what I freaking get. What a master. <laughs> Check one, two. Now my computer's overheating. What the hell is going on with my power today? We're gonna have to figure that out, that's for sure. Right, attack him for six and they stop drawing cards. Then they attack me with these little buggers. And they keep making more, but we can bounce them. This also might be time to play Leer. They're tapped out. So this is an instant speed way to get a Holebreaker Horror. And then we have one spell we can cast. Now we have two. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're back in this. No other power outages, right? Did that other file save? Maybe? I'll have to check it later? They go for Elspeth. What does Elspeth even do here? I don't love it, but... I guess we make them hit off the minus three? Yeah, they're probably just putting a counter on something. Show them what you've got. I'm gonna give it flying, maybe? Yeah. I mean, let them have the creatures, right? As long as we get the Holebreaker Horror and untap with it. Down to 22, so still a lot of room. I go for a Teferi. Okay. This is a serious situation. We can still have a little fun. Now's the time. Come back. You're needed. Don't worry. All right, they're tapped out. They're tapped out. Okay. Guys, I don't know how I'm getting the matchups I'm getting. I don't know what's going on. And I don't know what's going on with the power at my house. <laughs> Just cutting out <laughs> in our time of need. But what I do know is I can still win. I find a way. That I know.
7, 13, 16, 19. Wouldn't get there. Really should have seen that coming. Try not to give up hope. Doomscar returns. I think we just make him bounce it again and again. Still five mana open after this play. Another graveyard shift. Shouldn't need it. Nope. What else you got? Fortell. <laughs> Doomscar. All right, 20. 7, 13, 16, 19. Still not freaking dead. Uh, still got plenty of cheap spells, though. We're just gonna keep bouncing Doom Scars. That's all. Just gonna keep bouncing Doom Scars. Okay. That's not going to work. Nice try. They tried to stop me. They did everything they could think of. But we... <laughs> prevailed. Okay. Uh, check the file. Check the file. Check the previous file. Did it, did it actually save? When the power cut out? By invitation. It did? With that invitation only on the stack, me casting Tainted Indulgence, and trying to... I was just about to return the Holebreaker Horror to my hand, and the power cut. Just like that. And we... It, it was down for like two minutes. We got back in here. Our opponent had a full time walk turn. They killed my Holebreaker Horror. And we... Brought it home. And we are back. Let's check out the stats powered by MTG Assistant. And uh, kind of medium here. We got four wins and three losses. We were on the play once. We were on the draw five times. Might have a little bit of impact in best of one. But, you know, pretty medium results for the deck. But I think it adds to the narrative that control in this format is very, di very difficult to play. Um, it's just such a... I don't know, man. It feels like missing even a tiny beat or having the wrong answer even a little bit, and you're just absolutely dead in the mid-range meta. You fall behind so quickly. But I feel like we're getting closer. You know, it, it, it's getting warmer. I don't feel like I'm as far away as I was a week ago in terms of control. I think the graveyard shift angle is a good one. Shadow's Verdict was impressing. The dragons are okay. I don't want to replace them with more copies of Hullbreaker Horror and Lear, but maybe I should. I find that I'm running into, you know, drawing too many of these too often. The Celestis was very good. I really would love, like, it's definitely a good best of three kind of approach to have some duress and some negate in the sideboard and be able to take them in and out for these rays. Um, I am very tempted to put some kind of a discard effect in the main. I don't know if we're in a duress meta, though. There's a lot of decks where Duress isn't particularly good. A runes just kind of does the same thing over and over, so even if you take their showdown, they're just going to find another one using, you know, the freaking one-mana, green-mana, searchy thingy. And, uh, you know, I just... They're also going to draw a million cards. Against white, it probably bricks. But 
Depending on how much you love Duress, you could try it, and maybe that's an even better route to go than Negate. A few discard effects could soften the opponent up so that they don't have that sweet removal spell or interaction when they need it. Then you Graveyard Shift, you get your Holebreaker Horror, your Leer, and you go to town. So my next steps for the deck would be to try some Duress and or Dread Fugue and figure out which one's better. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. You're cool.